Hi, this is Miss Amy. I'm here for Fall in Love with Reading Preschool Storytime. And this week, autumn is certainly in the air. I've been going outside and I can smell the ripe grapes here in Westfield. This is my favorite time of year when the leaves are just starting to change colors, the air is getting a little bit cooler. It's beautiful for taking walks and the smells are so wonderful. And one of my favorite things about this time of year are apples. We're gonna do all sorts of apple fun today. Let's start with our song. You all know the more we get together by now, so sing along with me. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. So even though we're together virtually instead of in person, it is great to be with you today. And as I said, I love apples. Now, if you were here in person, I would be asking you what you can make or do with apples. So everybody think a little bit at home. And when I count to three, you tell me one thing that you could make or do with apples. Ready? One, two, three. I can almost hear you. Oh, I eat apple pie, apple crisp, apple juice, apple sauce, apple muffins. Oh, apple butter. Ooh, that's an unusual one, but very delicious. There's even apple jelly. You've thought of so many great things that you could do with apples. Let's see what's in my bag. Today, in my story time bag, I, oh, look who's here. Pete the cat's back. And Pete, you brought an apple. Oh my, Pete loves apples. That's a very healthy snack, Pete. That's a really good thing. That's probably why you're so cool and you keep grooving and dancing so much. Well, you stay here and listen because we're gonna read some apple stories. Oh yes, that's very exciting. You can sit right there. Now, let's see what else is in my bag. Oh. I think they might, oh, there they are. Two juicy apples. Mm, mm, mm. If you've been here at the library before, you know this poem, so say it with me. You can make apples with your hands like this, but today we're going to put out some goodie bags upstairs at the library. So starting this afternoon, you can come down and pick up a bag. And I'm going to put some apples with some popsicle sticks and craft sticks for you to make your own apples at home for this poem. There's also going to be some other apple poems and words and lots of Pete the Cat things. So parents, make sure you stop by the library and they'll be at the front desk for you to pick up. They have three weeks worth of poems and, and fun ideas and Pete the Cat pages in them. So let's start. Way up high in an apple tree, two red apples are smiling at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples and mmm, mmm, were they good. Now you know apples aren't always red. These have a little yellow on them. Sometimes apples are green, red. Some are so dark they're almost purplish. So there are so many good apples. So the ones you get in your goodie bag might be red, yellow, green. You'll have to wait and see. Let's do the poem one more time. Way up high in an apple tree, two red apples are smiling at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came those apples. Mm -mm, were they good? Pete can hold my apples, and now I think I have a story in here that I want to share with you. And my first story today is called Apple Farmer Annie. It's written by Monica Wellington, and it's a great apple story that I have read many times. 
Apple Farmer Annie. Oh my, just the pages getting to the beginning are so colorful and beautiful. Annie is an apple farmer. She has a big orchard of apple trees. In the fall, she picks baskets and baskets of round, ripe apples. She grows many kinds of apples. She sorts and organizes them. Annie uses some of the apples to make sweet apple cider. She uses others to make delicious smooth applesauce. She loves baking muffins, cakes, and pies with her apples. But she saves the most beautiful ones of all to sell fresh at the market. She loads everything into her truck and she drives to the city. Annie the apple farmer sets up her stand in the farmer's market. Lots of customers come to Annie's stand. She is busy all day long. end of the day, she has sold everything. She packs up to go home. Annie is tired but happy. It feels so good to have her own apple farm. And the cool thing at the back of this book, if you'd like to come in and check it out, we have recipes. Annie's applesauce, apple muffins, and applesauce cake all delicious recipes that you could make at home this fall. Now I have a couple of apple flannel board and stories, poems that we're gonna do over on the flannel board. And the first one goes like this. Now let me count the apples. One, two, three, four, five. Five little apples hanging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Slinky Worm, you can't eat me. Along comes Mr. Slinky Worm, as quiet as can be. And crunch! Four little apples hanging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Slinky Worm, you can't eat me. Along comes Mr. Slinky Worm, as quiet as can be. And crunch! How many left? One, two, three. Three little apples hanging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Slinky Worm, you can't eat me. Along comes Mr. Slinky Worm, as quiet as can be, and crunch! One, two, two little apples hanging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Slinky Worm, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Slinky Worm, as quiet as can be, and crunch! One little apple. Hanging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Slinky Worm, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Slinky Worm, as quiet as can be. And crunch! No little apples left hanging in the tree. Now Mr. Slinky Worm's gonna stay over here. And we have to count and put back one. You can guess how many, if you remember. Two, three, four, five little apples. Five little apples hang, hung on a tree. The farmer didn't care, so who came to eat? A little worm. Munch, 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 munch. Four little apples hung on a tree. The farmer didn't care. So guess who came to lunch? A horse! Munch, munch, nay, nay. Three little apples hanging on a tree. The farmer didn't care, so guess who came to eat? A little bluebird. Munch, munch, tweet, tweet, tweet. Two little apples hanging in a tree. The farmer didn't care, so guess who came to eat? 
a little pink pig. Much, much, oink, oink. One little apple hanging in a tree. The farmer didn't care, so guess who came to eat? Yup, it was Mr. Scarecrow. Yum, yum, much, much. Hmm, now the tree is bare. There are no more apples hanging there. But when next fall comes, do you know who will be back around? The bird, the pig, the horse, the scarecrow, and of course, Mr. Slinky Worm to munch, munch, munch. Let's see if I can find another apple book around. There are so many great apple stories and fall stories. We have a nice selection here at the library. So if you're nearby, stop in and you can check out a few to take home. My next story I'm gonna to read to you is called, oh, I have like four in here and I won't have time to read them all. I think I'll read this one. It's called, I'll get up both on the side. Apples or Apple Harvest? I think I'll read Apple Harvest. It's by Calvin Harris. All about fall, specifically apples. And these are real photographs, which is why I decided to read this one to you, because it has some very nice photographs in it. Fall is here, it's fall. Cool breezes blow through the apple orchard trees. Red apples hang down from the woody branches. The ripe apples are ready to be picked. Fall is harvest time. Farmers pick the apples by hand. Workers sort the apples by flavor. The apples are put into bags for shoppers to buy. Apples make fun treats. Crisp caramel apples are sticky and sweet. Hot apple cider warms you up on a cold day. Apple slices fill the insides of apple pies. The apple har harvest has begun. What other things in this picture tell you that it's fall? that you can see. Look at those bins of thousands and thousands of apples. And I see lots of golden leaves that have fallen into the apple bins. And that's what we're seeing around here now too. It's such a pretty time of year. Let's pick out one more book. And I want to remind you, I hope that most of you have gone and signed in on the Read Squared program, but if you haven't, go to our Patterson Library website and click on the register sign and make sure you sign in um, so that you can be putting in the minutes that you've read. Because when you put in 300 minutes read, remember, you'll get to come into the library and get your own Pete the Cat book. We already gave away a missing cupcake Pete the Cat game and now I have books to give away for anyone who reaches 300 minutes read at home. Remember, by the end of November, we're trying to get to 1,000 minutes read. My last story today is called Apples by Gail Gibbons. I have a quick song I'm gonna teach you before we do that one. The tune is one you know. It's the same tune as the song Rockabye Baby, but it's this little the words here, and I'll send these home to you in our bag today. Here is a tree with leaves so green. Here are the apples that hang in between. When the wind blows, the apples will fall. Here is a basket to gather them all. So you can make your arm into a basket. You can make a tree. You can make your apples hanging and falling like the wind's blowing. Let's sing it one more time. Here is a tree with leaves so green. Here are the apples that hang in between. When the wind blows, the apples will fall. Here is a basket 
to gather them all. My voice is a little rough today. I'm having some allergy issues. So many nice things harvesting and blooming out there. My last story is called Apples by Gail Gibbons. And then I hope you have some apples at home. Maybe you can have one for your lunch today. An apple is a fruit. It grows on apple trees. Apple trees grow in more parts of the world than any other fruit tree. They have been in existence for about two million years. Wow, the first colonists brought apple seeds and seedlings from England. And they spread them west across the states as they settled in different areas. The Native American Indians already had apple seeds and apple trees growing near their villages. There was a man named John Chapman in the early 1800s who traveled throughout Ohio, Pennsylvania, Indiana, planting apple seeds. He also gave seeds and seedlings to people there and he became known as Johnny Appleseed. Some apples are grown at home, but most are grown on huge apple farms. 250 million bushes of apples are grown just in the United States every year. An apple is a firm, firm, crispy fruit with a hard center. And in the center, there are five seeds in little seed chambers. And if sometimes I've told you the apple star story and you see the star in the middle. In the springtime, flowers called apple blossoms bloom on the trees. The bees pollinate them and that helps the apples to grow. They start very small, and throughout the summer, they get bigger and bigger. During the late summer and early fall, just like now, the apples ripen. When the trees are loaded with ripe apples, it's harvest time. Workers pick the apples and put them in big baskets. Some go to stores. Some are used to make apple juice and apple cider and apple jelly and apple sauce and lots of other apple things. Some are sold in baskets at roadside stands. During the fall, it is so fun to go apple picking. Sometimes there are county fairs, awards are given to the best looking apples, the best tasting apple pies, and the most delicious applesauce. Sometimes at Halloween, there are caramel apples and candy apples. When winter comes, Apple trees are still alive, but they become dormant. The branches are bare until spring, when the trees will start a whole new crop of apples. And here's some of the beautiful apples. And you may not have noticed how many different shapes and colors there are. This is a Rome Beauty, a Macintosh, a Jonathan, a Stamen, a Red Delicious, a Gold Delicious, a York, and a Granny Smith. And there are even other kinds of apples too. And at the end of this book, it's kind of cool because it teaches you how to plant and care for an apple tree and then how to make apple pie and even how an apple cider press works. Here's some more apples and all apples are nutritious and delicious. So not only is this a nice book to show you about the things, it also has a lot more at the back. So please come on down and check out a book about apples or some other fall things in the next few weeks here at Patterson Library. That's about it for today. I'll see you next time. Bye.